Carry on Johnson, uh, Mr. Football in our state. Um, he's one of the more versatile players in the entire country. We really think this young man has a chance to be an elite, special type player. We feel like he's got everything it takes. Uh, we're very excited to add him to our offense. He'll have a chance to be an impact player uh, coming in immediately. You know, some recruits get on campus and like, ah, I done made it, no time to chill. Some guys just there just collecting, just, just being on scholarship, getting free schooling, you know? Yeah, you know, some people do that. Not to say that's terrible, but you know, you gotta go out there, you gotta work for it. Um, it's gonna be the hardest thing you've done up to this point in your life, and uh, you gotta want it. Carry on, as a freshman, always felt like he could, he could play, he could get the job done. But he also understood, you know, I gotta just keep showing up every day and I got to be ready when that opportunity comes. Uh, we had some guys with just a little bit more experience from the year before and so early on we leaned on them and tried to kind of just slowly ease KJ into it. We played him at receiver some, uh, we got him the ball in certain situations uh, whether it's being out of the backfield or even carrying the football and then you know the wildcat or direct snaps and other formations kind of became his role that freshman year and I thought he did a really good job. Sophomore year was a strange year. Peyton decided to leave early for the NFL uh, Rock ended up leaving after spring and there was issues with Javon. So now you're sitting there with pretty much KJ. But I never played a full game before, especially not no court, not no college football game, quarter length. And I am, I'm not ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready to be in this role right now. Um, that all season, that fall camp, I mean, we were scrambling, dude. I mean, we're all in university and we don't have a running back that has played more than eight plays a game. I mean, how does that happen? The question always about him was, can he be durable enough? We felt like he had put on enough strength in the weight room to do it. Everybody else outside of the coaching staff doubted it. You know, it was, everything was out there, oh, well, it's by default, he's gonna be the lead running back. We're not sure if it, you know, that drives carry on. And if you tell him that he's not gonna be able to do it, then he's just gonna keep doing it, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying until he succeeds at it. Reverses field, look out, he's at the 40, gets to the edge, 35, 30, 45, 20, 15, 10, leaps a man, into the end zone, touchdown, Auburn! We go from being maybe just a role player to one of the guys in the backfield that Auburn really would have to rely upon. Um, at a young age, he really showed a lot of maturity. And then Bubba came on the scene and really started to help us, really, really started to help us. He kind of took over that year uh, once I went down with that sprained ankle and uh, still ended up pretty good, made it to the Sugar Bowl. And, you know, they get that, that year easily could have went a different way, uh, easily could have went a different way. In college, I didn't want to be stressed out about football, stressed out about school stressed out about the opponent and then get on Twitter and be stressed out. You know, it's just some place you go to get laughs in. It blows my mind when I look at Carrion's presence and uh, I, I mean, I think something like 37, 38,000 followers or something like that, it, it's, it's crazy. Uh, He's been kind of quiet on Twitter lately. He has that Snapchat thing that he won't give me access to. So let's see. Boy, favorite tweet. I don't know. I can't. I can't just say it's just one of them. The ones I think are the funniest ones be ones that don't even get the most the most retweets and likes. I don't know. I never understand that. One. I guess I'm really not that funny. Todd Gurley tweeted about me one time, so that was cool. Everybody knows who Lola Jones is. I mean, very pretty lady. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and it's just like I've officially made it. And she kind of liked what I did. I jumped over there. She kind of liked it. I was like, yeah, I really made it. Rihanna's a hard female to get in contact with. You know, eventually it'll happen, I'm sure. Maybe maybe if I get really famous, we'll bump into each other one day. But, um, you know, still no luck with that. Uh, I'll keep trying. I promise you that. She just, man, amazing. It's like Chick-fil-A in human form, dude. Promise you. Chick-fil-A is his, like, his brand. He gets his free day, and he lets you know that free day where he's going to be. Oh, yeah, definitely. Come on, now. In my spot. <laughs> Got to. Can I get a Cobb salad with no tomatoes? Thank you. 
Thank you. Have you too. See how quick that was? That's amazing, dude. We were in line, I count, we were in line for four minutes, a full line, and I got my food in less than 12 seconds. It just don't, I mean, paid and got my food. It don't get no better than that, bro. Really, his older brother deserved probably more credit than any of us. He became a professional athlete. You know, it's it's him and Kerry Anzia going, hey, your body is your investment. You know, you got to change your eating habits. And uh, it's still a struggle, but it's one of those things that now he, he, he's, he's understands. It. It's, it's, a, it's a part of your business and, and, and uh, uh, but he, yeah, he, he loves his Chick-fil-A. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this moment. We thank you for this opportunity. I pray over all my brothers in this circle that we stay faithful today. We stay injury free. Help us to give it 100%. Let's go out with a bang for our seniors. Let's pay it all up to you in the end, Lord. We thank you again for this day, for this moment, for this opportunity. A lot of people would love to be here today, but we're here, Lord. Let us seize this moment and give it everything we got. Lord's name we pray. Amen. Amen. His expectations totally going into the season was for him and Petway both to run 4,000. Well, that didn't work out. Petway was hurt. All of a sudden, Carry On had to show everybody that he was the durable, every down back that Auburn needed last year. It just kind of happened. Uh, the game starts slowing down for you. I mean, everybody knows you get to college, everything's moving a million miles per hour. But then the game starts to slow down year by year. His junior year was when you saw what we saw coming out of high school was our plan for him. Be the every down back, be the thousand yard rusher, lead the SEC, all those things. Karon Johnson had another big time game. You know, I think he continually shows why he's one of the best running backs in the country, not just our league. The special players, uh, they feel it uh, when the game's on the line. And uh, y'all saw it. I mean, they got good tacklers, good defensive guys. He's breaking tackles and he's run over people and he just willed himself on that. But beating a good team like George is hard, man. Twice in a row. You know, it, we knew it was going to be difficult, and then we had, you know, I was injured. We had, you know, it's like this is the worst time for this to happen, but it, it, we went out there and we still fought, man. We didn't give up. We never once thought that we could really lose that game until it was over. You may walk out of here, you may lose, but you're going to know and your competitors are going to know that you gave it everything that you had and you did it the right way, okay? That's what matters. I love Auburn, but I love the team more. You only get one chance to go to college, man. Once you leave, it, you know, you can go back, but you're never going to play again. You're never going to play in front of that crowd. You're never going to be on the team with those guys, those whole collective hundred and whatever guys again. So it was hard to leave that behind. We can go somewhere. It doesn't matter where we are. Uh, if somebody sees Carry On, they're going to want, they, you know, they want to take a picture. He's going to stop. He's going to accommodate. Like I see sometimes guys going through Tiger Walk or, or, or after a game they come out and they've got their headphones on and they just walk past people. Carry On's not going to do that. He, he doesn't, he won't do it. I think his greatest legacy will be people will look back and go, golly, Carry On Johnson is someone I would like to have known. Or if I did know him, I wanted to be around him. And I wanted, I wanted to be um, kind of a part of his world because he's a special kid. He's a special kid that knows how to handle himself uh, on and off the field.